Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, the draft has now fired, so here we go. What do we got to look at with the first pack? Well, we've got a rare, that is the Engorged Gobbler. Uh, so if I go an action heavy deck, that is definitely something that could be could be playable, you know, it doesn't take much, you know, five actions and you get it to a respectable five cost, 10-10, so I probably will take that, it's pretty strong and not too hard to, uh, to make work. Um, there is really good removal here, Void Star Gaze is very good removal. Uh, this is a really good troop if you get you know into a lot of verdict. Really good troop. A really big fan of this troop. So these are these three are really good. If you're in mill, obviously you want to get this guy. Uh, and then your know, burster is good. Firepower is fine. Everything else is you know like second tier and beyond. But uh, yeah, let's go for the rare. Let's try and make it work. Let's have some fun. Let's do something a bit different. Maybe we can make a very nice action-heavy deck. Maybe we'll even get some of the five-drop. Uh, what's it called? The I forget the name, but the five-drop that whenever you play an action, you deal some damage to your opponent's face would be nice. So uh, yeah, well let's let's try it. Let's let's take it. So yeah, when you play an action, minus one in all zones. So not too hard to do. Ooh, we get some anti-mill right there if we want to take that. So that's the first thing I see there. Obviously, I also see. Umbral Guard, so the person I just passed that Spectre to potentially is going to pick that up. Um, so, yeah, Spectre into Umbral Guard, I'd be happy to get that, you know, passed to me. Um, but, you know, the person who I'm passing directly to might not have took the Spectre. Um, so, though, they might not then grab that, of course. But someone's going to get potentially both of those together and beyond. But I'm definitely going to take the Robo here. It's a respectable 3-3 flyer for 5, but obviously the, the the reason you want it is for anti-mill. And we do see a mill card there as well. Uh, obviously there's nothing here in Ruby that I care for. And if I wanted to go actions, you know, Sapphire is probably where you want to be looking. Aquamander is fine, but it's not something I'm going to pick over a Robogon, not in a million years. So, uh, yeah, Spitfire and Elemental, that is, that's the one. Thank you for giving me the name there. So yeah, let's take the Robo. Let's change the view of this slightly to make it a bit smaller. So yeah, I do have uh, some giveaways happening. I'll be doing that throughout the stream, but not just yet. Ooh, hello, there's me. So we can take myself and the Bella here. And uh, yeah, maybe we get... Uh... Ah, I mean, there's some really good diamond cards. Mm. Really good diamond cards there. Like Winter's Grasp is very good removal. Polar Ferret is a very good troop. <sighs> oh well, we're here to have fun, right? We're here to have fun. We're not going to just go take all the best cards. If I was to take the best card here, yeah, I'd be taking the Ferret. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't expect this to wheel. But, uh, you know what? We'll let other people fight over the Diamond. Obviously, someone's going to end up. just going to put two people into Diamond. Uh, obviously we've got two good blood, because we must stay away from blood diamond. We've already seen many good blood diamond cards. So we're going to try and force the ruby staff. Well, not potentially, you know, we're not going to force it, but we're going to see, you know, this is a playable card. And if we do get a lot of actions, you know, this works with actions, and if we can get a blast off for the Bella, send her into the skies and just keep digging through the deck for more actions, potentially. Or at least a couple. Some. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, there's a nice Sapphire card. Again, really good Blood Diamond cards. If I had been in Blood Diamond right now, I mean, obviously I can't grab them both. <laughs> um, but, yeah, another Verdict card, uh, Nyctophobia. So the person who took those Verdict cards we saw earlier is going to be pretty happy with the selection they're being presented. So, happy to take this, though. So I can make this, uh, you know, when I play an action, it gets buffed, or I can give it Swift Strike. It depends. I might not even end up in Ruby, you know, who knows. Um, but yeah, this is a perfectly good 2-drop. It's, you know, it's actually a really good 2-drop. Um, you know, 2-2, two, two, if you're in Diamond, you can make it a 2-4 two, for 2 that when it deals combat damage, you gain charges. That's very, very high value for one card that does a lot. Uh, so, but in this case, I'm not, you know, might not be in Diamond. Obviously, we've already seen that Blood Diamond is... There were, there's going to be at least two, probably more people in those colors. So we want to avoid them in this case. So uh, happy to take that. We'll see what else happens here. All right, what do we got? So this is a pretty good card. It's an action as well. That makes a portal. We've got a blast off for the potential on the wheel. 
So there's one way to send Bell into the skies. Uh, no ruby here at all that it's even worth mentioning. You know, it's just just Aflubes. I would say it's name, but then I'd be mentioning it. <laughs> um, so the Hag is really good, uh, especially if you're in plants. But uh, you know, any any or even if you're like blood di blood diamond, you know, illuminate, and you get enough ways to illuminate this can really shine. But anything that can go really wide. So yeah, we're gonna take the exile here. I really like this card. You know, it's a it's a really good value card. It's it's bounce plus you. Oh, there's a Spitfire. So we get one of those. We'll get the evaporate for the wheel most likely. Um, possibly no, we're not gonna get the scout. But there's another verdict card for the verdict player. Verdict is super strong. Uh, the person who's getting this stuff's gonna be happy. But I'm I'm a, I'm pretty happy with what I've got so far as well. And I'm also in stuff. You know, sapphire is not that contested. It's not that strong uh, compared to these other colors we're passing cards in. Same with Ruby, really. Ruby, Sapphire, when you, when you get the nuts, yeah, it can be super strong. Um, but the overall quality of each individual card is, is you know, it, it's not as strong as, you know, what other colors can do. Um, but if you get the nuts, you can definitely get some very nice stuff happening. Uh, so let's see another verdict card there. Damn. Uh, what do we got? So I could just take the counter there. I don't have any elementals at the moment, but that could change. I don't, I'm not interested in either of these. So yes, it's not the best card here. Ooh, not by a long shot. But uh, I mean, I could leave my options open. But whatever. Let's let's just take this and yeah. All that shiny verdict stuff. Oh man, I would have liked to have all that verdict stuff. <laughs> verdict is. Very, very good. Just, especially if you do get Critical Mass, which we've seen a Verdict card every, every pack so far. So you get Critical Mass of Verdict, it's just, it just goes mad. Bananas. Bananas! Alright, what do we got here? We got Aquamanda. So, that's not bad. Uh, what's this do again? Yeah, it's not really worth anything. I was thinking of taking it just because it's a rare, but I will take this. We might get the other one on the wheel. It's pretty likely we'll get the other one. Um... And then, you know, we do have this. So, yeah. Oh, excuse me. It's fine. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. But I'll definitely be going, you know, if you want to make this work, you know, going swamp butt uh, makes it a lot easier. Hmm. So I could take an action. Expensive removal, but it also gives you a portal, which is good value. Or I could just go for this 3-drop that gives me a phantom. Hmm. Do I really want to be getting rid of my charges? Maybe not, because, you know, it's easier to get two, two activations of Swamp Butt, because it's 3 cost. Uh, so you're generally going to get at least two of that. I don't really want to slow it down, because they are going to be potentially very valuable in my deck, so I'll probably just take the removal here. I'm fine with that. I could also just take this, but I'll take that. I don't really like to have six cost cards, but... Alright, so there's the other Aquamander. Let's grab that. The Rust would be alright to have for sideboard, but definitely going to take the Aquamander first. So not too bad so far. Hopefully the next pack treats me well. So clearly, um, Sapphire, you know, as it normally is, is open, so there's the Galvatross I was hoping to see. So grab that other portal card. Portal cards are, you know, obviously very good value. Anything that you that does something, you know, like this does something, this gives me a troop, you know, and then they give you a portal that you can then just wait. You know, so I got three cards so far, and you just wait for it to give you something that you like, and then there you go. <laughs> so I could go for some early defense here. Don't really well this isn't the worst honestly I mean it's not great I'm not gonna take it but I don't really care for this card that much uh, it's not the worst but I think I prefer even though it's not an action therefore it's not gonna help out my you know we'll get the the defense there we go there's the blast off so now we can send Bella into the skies potentially <laughs> uh, it's only temporary right uh, no it's actually not all right that's good so that's good so even though I am 
basically downing myself a card just to do a, a buff. I can still, you know, it is basic action, so I can't use it as a trick and get value out of it. But uh, hopefully I'll get some stuff that gives me some card draw, but I can make up for that slight disadvantage there with, you know, portal cards and so on. So I'll take the Vandalize here for the side. I'll take a Dino Dummy here for the side. And that's that's a, a good chunk. You know, put this in here as well. I think we've got enough playables here from the first pack that it's likely I'm not going to need that one for. And it'll just be a decent sideboard card for aggressive opponents. As I'm sure, you know, with two more packs to go, I'm going to get plenty, plenty playables. So, let's see if we can open something nice here. Ooh, hello, it's a rare. It's uh, perfectly fine to take, and I will do so. Obviously, I'm not in a mill deck, so... I'm not really going to get mm, the, the value out of that, unless I do pick up some, some things that can do that. <laughs> Overall, this pack is actually quite lack lacking, you know, quite lacking. So if this wasn't, you know, if this was a um, piece of poop, uh, the shrink would probably be what I go for here. You know, being an, an action that's fine. If, you know, like this card, I'm not a fan of. It's pretty bad, and uh, this is fine. Yeah. Anyway, let's just take the rear. It's something I can play. Bloody freaky cat, jeez. It's cray cray. It's cray cray. All right, what do we got? So here's a really good card. Sadly, I'm not in, in diamonds, so all the good diamond, damn it. But uh, yeah, you know what? I I don't care to take any of these cards that are on color for me. But I'm gonna deny this. Screw screw everybody else. This card's insane. I'm taking it, and I you know I potentially still could change colors. Uh, I only have three ruby cards after all, so yeah. I want to make this work though. That's you know that's we're here to have fun, so still gonna try. But if I just don't get the cards, well then I don't get the cards. Maybe I'll end up mono sapphire. Who knows? Unlikely. <sighs> Excuse me. So this is good. So this can take out a bunch of troops. You know, it can take out two things, and then you get to it activates again on drawing a shard thanks to the runic, which can then potentially take out more things. Which the reason why that's not only is that you know obviously incredible value if you do get to kill multiple things, it's also two actions in one, so that's double cost reduction over here. So that's good. Uh, ideally, you know, I'd, I would like this to wheel, but I don't think that's going to happen. All right, so let's let's do some quick math. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's, there's not enough cards there that people are likely to take. There's like maybe six cards people might take before this, but there's bound to be something, you know, based on what we're getting here in Ruby, there's some other people in Ruby. So, oh, there we go. You got something nice there. A very nice Squarming Galax Galaxstar. That is very good. That's one of the cards you want to see if you're, if you're trying to do Ruby Sapphire. Getting this guy is very, very good. So I'd like to get more of him. <laughs> so give me another one. I'll be very happy. But uh, yeah, that's that's good to at least have one. It is a key card because yeah, every time you're playing those actions, you just get more portals, and when you play a portal card, get more card draw, provided he's still in play. So another portal card here. So I will take that. Firepower on the wheel would be decent. So I do need more early game. I have some, but not enough. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens there. Some more, you know, actual removal, early early game removal, or cheap removal would be nice. But uh, yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's looking okay so far. I would still really like to see another one of these, but. Uh, yeah, it's unlikely. But still possible, of course. Do, do, do. And then if I can just get some more more portal creating cards, it would be very nice indeed. So this is something I might not end up running. I, I might, I might not. Who, you know, so there's, there we go. So we got a Dingle Dance potential Spitfire on the wheel. Um, but yeah, you know, I do only have you know, I can obviously give flight to something like this guy, and that would be fine. Gaining the charges, which gives me more swamp butt activation. 
Um, but yeah, and then obviously doing it on Velo would be the the big thing. But you really want to have multiple. Like actually giving flight to this would be fine too. Uh, but there is plenty of void. You know, we've already passed double Winter's Grasp and other annoyances. But uh, provided you're not against like uh, colors that can void, then giving flight to that would be really nice. Because then it can attack and defend in the air and use all those nine lives potentially. So definitely take this here. So this is also something that can answer that card. Um, but yeah, I'll take that. What we got? A bunch of flubes here. Really unexciting cards. Unexciting indeed. Yeah. They're all quite flubes. They're all quite flubes. I'll just take this, because whatever. Boom, 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 but that's fine. We don't need to get a playable from every pack. And I didn't expect to get one from every pack. Boom, 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 boom. So this I might not run. We'll, we'll see. Still need more of the early game. As you can see here, my curve is not the best. We need to get more of this section here. We've got plenty of this section. Maybe we even cut the robo and sideboard it in against mill, mill players. That's an option as well. As we have plenty of high cost stuff, we need to need to get the low cost stuff, which we're not really getting. So, I mean, I'll I'll take this. I doubt I'll end up running it, but I mean, I do have this, so that can always come in just to make sure I have that early defense. But uh, as I was saying before, I hopefully won't need to. Still got plenty more cards to come. Mm. Shrink is probably what I want here. Yeah. I did contemplate having the little elemental guy, but nah. He can flute himself. We'll take the shrink. As it is an action. It's a shame we did only get one of these guys, but oh well. <laughs> How did this get back there? Didn't I put that over here? So that means something else. Oh, this guy <laughs> left the building. So another shrink is fine. Transform's not really a thing anymore, but there are still, you know, Wildkin revert stuff, and so. But I'll still take it. Uh, it gives me ways to, you know, just sit back and, you know, that's, that's why it's a shame that I only have one of this card. If I had multiple of this, with, because I have a decent amount of actions now, so if I did have multiple of this, it would be really nice. But oh well. It is what it is. Still really lacking my early game troops though. Hmm. Don't care for that. It's all flubes. It's all flubes. Let's just uh, die. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. So anyone that's just tuning in, if you would like a chance to win a prize, just all you got to do is type in the chat, and I'll be drawing a prize at the end of this draft process. So I'll be drawing a winner for probably a draft code or something. Yeah, we'll do a draft code. Uh, what do we want here? Impulse is not... I'm really not a fan of it, but... Maybe... Yeah, we'll, we'll grab it and potentially we'll run it. Hopefully, Frostheart has some better card draw cards, so... We shall see. Ooh. Can't stop yawning. Alright, we'll take another one. But yeah, obviously it has that, that downside. It's all flubes. Yeah, it's all flubes, really. So someone took the other Spitfire, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
So I might run this. Although I'm not really trying to be aggressive with this deck, clearly. So I probably won't. Oh, okay, I don't really want to pass that. <laughs> See, here's here's some card draw. Uh, both of these are, are good. I wouldn't mind any of this stuff here. But uh, I'm not going to pass someone. Especially since I was passing the in the first pack, the amount of good blood diamond I passed. Uh, yeah, I don't want to give someone a... <laughs> not that I'm likely to verse them. I'm still not going to give them that. Screw that. <laughs> So I'm gonna take this out. So let's see what we got. Bloody bloody blah. So the Aquamanders are pretty lacking. So we might end up replacing those with just whatever we can grab. But they are pretty pretty fluid. I mean they're okay, but I you know I have what two elementals, so but we could potentially get more. <laughs> I can't stop yawning. Holy crap! Oh, guess I'll stretch. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. See, I should have just went Blood Diamond, shouldn't I? <laughs> now I'd have, I'd have a First of the Host, uh, this guy, the, the In the Halls, all those Blood Diamond Verdict cards. Ah, oh, would have been, would have been pretty good. Would have been pretty good. Oh well. So, you know, I'm gonna take this. It's a legendary. I'm not gonna pass that either. But uh, either of those would have been nice. All this even. I doubt any of them I'm gonna wheel. So whatever. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Wee. It's not worth much, but it's worth something. It's worth something. We'll just switch, right? We'll just switch to <laughs> Diamond Blood. We'll run all shards and in, and in, uh, into the, in the halls and these cards, right? That'll work. That'll be fine. <laughs> So this is fine. Every action I play, I can get an alternate win condition there. Uh, everything else is whatever. So we'll take that, even though I still need more early game, but that'll do. I'm gonna go swamp, you know, I already decided I'm going swamp about ages ago, so that's perfectly fine. Um, so I do still have, you know, decent evasion going on here. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll be searching immediately after finishing this draft, just because the diamond, you know, blood diamond players I do not want to verse them. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I'm gonna have dinner after this draft anyway. Almost 6 p.m. Start cooking. Don't know what yet. I'll have to see what I got. Maybe some fish. Some fishy. You want some fishy, Bella? A little fishy. I'm gonna eat your little fishy. What do we get? Come on. Ah, Alright, so this is fine. And you know, I might as well take it just to go with what we're doing, the actions. It is runic after all. I mean, it's not the best card here. If I'm against, you know, it's obviously, if you're against someone who has a lot of one health troops, well then it's a good card. But it's likely gonna be fairly lacking. But even if it just kills one thing, that's that's fine. So while it's not the best card, you know, toolbox is pretty good. I don't need more five drops. Um, scrap shot's fine, and I do need more threes. But I'm gonna take this, just because it synergizes better with my with what I'm doing. You know, I'm not really trying to win with troops 
for the most part. You know, I've got some evasive troops that can do that, or the big guy over here, the payoff. But uh, otherwise, I'm just going to try and control the game, keep myself from dying, which, you know, hopefully I don't go against Fariko. <laughs> Because, you know, when you're sitting back and not really being aggressive against Fariko, well then you have to have ways to, you know, stop their big things. But that's where Shrink can help out, as well as the Dingle Dance. You know, those, those you know, Shrink can, you know, things are going to only get so big. You know, some things might turn into a 7-7 seven, seven or something, but I'm still going to be able to make it uh, minimal damage. So we do get some nice cards here. So I was hoping to get a Hatchling, as that is an action, but and it also triggers twice, but it also gives me two Flyers. So again gives me the evasive route to win the game. So that was hoping to see it, and there's one of them. I still need to get more early game. It is also an elemental, these Hawks. So it does also help with the Aquamanders, and I'm likely going to have to keep them in there, because I do need to have early game uh, presence. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, I need to not go against people with revert, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it's looking alright. Still many picks to go, well, quite a quite a decent amount. So hopefully we'll get some some good cards, not just you know filler. Like the card we just got is pretty good. Um, I still want to get more twos and or threes, and we have potential of two crafty scrap shots on the wheel. They would be perfectly fine to have, but some more you know some actual removal would be some some good stuff. Uh, just instead of like. Uh, so what do we got? Ooh, we got another missile. Um, we don't want that. So Thunderbird is probably what I... Yeah, I mean, I've got to take the Thunderbird. Uh, and hopefully the other one, Wheels. That would actually be really nice in this deck. So Thunderbird, again, we're going... we got the, the... The win conditions here are, you know, just getting a bunch of actions happening. Sadly, only the one Spitfire. But our main win condition is probably going to be all my evasive stuff. And then, depending on how... You know, I've also got the Gobbler as a as a, a finisher, but, you know, I, I need to bait out, make sure, you know, probably wait till my opponent's, like, top decking, or, depending on their color, right, you know, the colors they're in, if they're in, like, blood, then I have to think about things like Nyctophobia, and, and Void Star Gaze, and all that sort of stuff, but, uh, provided I've got stuff going out there that's baiting out removal, the flyers, and so on, then this potentially comes down and says, alright, do you still have any more answers, and, because this can easily end the game by itself, being a 10-10 with Crush, but yeah, so I got Swamp. Swamp Butt as a win condition. Ooh, do I want Rune Infusion? I guess I do. I mean, this guy's good too, though. So I maybe should be taking the Kindler since I do need more. You know, like this is good. It is an action. It gives me an action. Um, and it gives it Runic too, but it is a... Hmm, I mean, I guess it's more fun, right? So I think I do take it just because, again, we were trying to have fun with this guy at the beginning. So we'll take it and have some fun. Because it's definitely more, you know, random stuff is fun. Not to, it's not obviously fun when you get poop, or your opponent does it against you and they get, like, god-tier stuff and you just die. <laughs> but, you know, that that is still, it makes it a bit more ex exciting compared to just seeing stuff you always see, you know, because uh, obviously in a draft or sealed or whatever, there's you're, you're stuck with what's in the format. But when it comes to generating cards, they can happen. All the cards from standard are a possible... Uh, outcome, so I could take another shrink now. Do I have? I don't have anything, do I? I also could take this though. I don't really want to take a six drop though. <laughs> hmm. I probably do though. I probably still do take this over something like another shrink. So yeah, I'll take it. I'm probably gonna have to make some changes here in terms of you know. I probably do want to run 17 shards now that I've got these two, and I've got all these fives, and all these fours. Uh, so maybe we just get rid of the blast off and my, myself. Maybe maybe we just get rid of those two, um, as it is a bit, you know, it's a bit cute trying to pull that off when, you know, first of all if I don't get them together, I mean the invoke is still fine with. Oh hello, so now I could take a deep freeze or the whimsy witch. Hmm. I do like Whimsy Witch, but I guess I don't really need her anymore. And I don't really have any ways to make her better, so we'll just take another, you know, like, you know, there's those two together, but, uh, take the action, I guess. <laughs> action dot deck. So, uh, yeah, I think we get rid of that. 
I could still keep this in there. But, yeah, whatever. Because, you know, I still... The wizard can grow here. The mage can grow every time I play an action. But uh, I'll just, we'll just get rid of him. So we're going for the evasive route. Uh, sadly, no second Thunderbird. Unless it was the next pack, it might have been. Yeah, there it is. Right there where my cursor was. So you don't care for the Running Fury. You just, yeah, this that's actually really good. Having two of those is really nice. But I still need to cut a card now because I do need to still run... 17 resources. Hmm. Like, this is still really good as just a defender. Or, but maybe it's not that. Eh. We'll see. I might just get rid of the missile, bring it in if I'm against, you know, a deck. That's probably what I'll do. But I guess I can get rid of the warden. Yeah, I could do that. So I've got. I've got enough early game shenanigans now. Another Shrinky Shrink. Alright. I don't think I need to run another Shrink, but I'll take it. I will take out the Warden. And, uh... Mm. Wait, what are you doing back here, Blaster? Alright, so something else came out. <laughs> Damn little bug. So it must have been a Shrink. I still also have... Oh, so the, the card draw didn't wheel, unless it was the next pack, which it might be. So Caller's there. Wait, so... I'll work that out once we're done. Hmm. Ah, the, yeah, the Invoker's back. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So this is good, so I'll take that. If that can... If I'm getting too many shards, I can get rid of it. Uh, but yeah, that's not too bad. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Boom, 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 boom. I think maybe I get rid of this. Yeah, maybe. We'll, we'll see. I'll put it there for now. Doom, 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 doom. Mm. This is a good, good four drop. Hmm, I don't really need four drops though, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna run any of these. So we'll just, we'll just take it anyway. Put it in there. Boom, 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 boom. All right, the rune fusion came out. Let's put him back. So I've got two shrinks there. So I think I should probably be having one of those in here. Uh, so I probably do cut this. Anyway, again, I'll do it when we're done here, and I'll draw a winner for the draft code. So anyone who hasn't entered that yet, be sure to do so. deny a nightfall. So an anti-mill in the sideboard. The caller needs to go back in again. I got all the shrinks. <laughs> all the shrinks. <laughs> Alright, so we're pretty much done now. And uh, so yeah, I'll be drawing the winner of the draft code in a moment. Let me go find my codes. Uh, there it is. So draft code... Alright, so and then I'll I'll draw that winner now, so good luck to everyone. The big, <laughs> yeah. But well there's a reason why it doesn't though, right? It lost its speed because it ate too much, and now it's a giant fat blob of turd. So now all it can do is crunch. I mean, it makes perfect sense. You know, all these little guys are speedy because they're small. They've been feeding this 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 big one. That's now way too big. So then instead of speed, it now has crush. I mean, it it's it makes perfect sense. So anyway, um, yeah, let's draw the winner. Here we go. Good luck to everyone. And well, never mind. I need you to all probably type again because my giveaway thing wasn't working. <laughs> Just wait. Uh, all right, start typing now. Type now. To enter the giveaway. While you're typing, I will cap off my deck here and get those cards in that should be in there. And so, Rune Fusion's already in, so I don't care for any of those. And I want my caller. So then, I don't want the whisker. Uh, do freeze. Portal. Yes, yes, yes. 
So let's go the swampy swamps. Mm -hmm. All right, so the invoker needs to come out, and we get a shrink in. Uh, I think that's what I wanted to do. So let's have a look. Missile. It's possible I should maybe run shrink over the missile, bring the missile in if I need to. Uh, this will go with Swift Strike. Hmm. <laughs> Technically, could just take Aquamanders out and just run all shrinks. <laughs> Let's do it. That'll be funny. So we'll just have four shrinks dot deck, and uh, so that. How many actions is that now? Twelve actions. That's pretty good. And, uh, you know, several uh, runic. So we've got how many runic ones? We've got rune fusion, which is an action that gives me an action that then has a runic. So that's basically three. We've got two here, you know, two two triggers, you know, two actions. We've got uh, cards that give portals that could turn into actions at some point. Uh, we've got another runic over here. And uh, can get back in action this way. We've got another portal card here, portal, portal. So, yeah, that looks pretty fun. <laughs> It'll be interesting. My Dingle Dance is pretty lacking because of the board presence. Um, but whatever, we'll still leave it in there. Uh, other than that, I think I'm fine. Uh, so Robo go for the side. So yeah, let's throw in our resources. Uh, I'm going to do... Hmm, I guess we have majority Sapphire early game, so that's more important. So we'll just do nine of those and eight of these. We'll hit the save. And we'll draw the winner, so good luck. Uh, well, let's see. Alright, let's go. Draft code, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, Faith in Dingle, he says, and he wins the prize. <laughs> Hacks. Rigged. Rigged. Alright, let me get you that code, my friend. Actually, I've already got it on my clipboard, so let me send it to you. That is now sent. Uh, what's it, oh, is your in-game name just Care Package? I need to put that in my my document. So let me that let me know that, please. But uh, yeah, so there's my deck. So overall, obviously not many troops. I mean, it's enough considering I have, especially I have portal cards and whatnot. But uh, we're obviously trying to win through evasive troops. You know, got the double Thunderbird. Uh, potentially, you know, getting a ton of portals will be nice. Uh, more evasive troops. The gobbler at the end game there, and then just yeah, portal cards can give me all sorts of good stuff. All right, thank you for that. Let me put that over in my document. Uh, that one there. All right. All right. So, time for me to go cook my dinner. But that is the deck right there. So, uh, yeah, I will probably end up playing it uh, maybe later tonight. I might jump back on and stream some more, and I'll I'll, I'll save this for. Or later, so I'm not going to play it yet. I will, I will stream it. At least stream, you know. I might, I might play some, but I'll, I'll at least stream one of the games at the very least. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Have a good day. I'll potentially see you all later. Um, but uh, yeah, time for dinners. Um, num num. Thank you for watching.